what are some of the biggest mistakes you see people make in relation to property investing or property sourcing? I'd probably say two things on that. The first is, um, the first is just inaction and people wanting to, to do something and finding out ways of doing it and just really not taking the action. Um, and that's the most important thing is just whatever you're going to do is just do something, get going and do it as soon as you can as well. The market's always changing. So the longer you leave it, um, you know, the harder it's going to get really. So I, I think the first thing is just to take action, mm. make a decision on what you're going to do. A lot of people, the, the hardest thing is making the decision which way are they going to go? What are you going to do? I think spend some time thinking about it, but then take action. Don't leave it. And you learn so much anyway from just doing. Uh, so I think that's really important. And I think the other thing, uh, from my point of view, is actually sometimes people get too greedy as well. They try and think that it's going to be, everything's going to happen overnight, and they get a little bit disillusioned if it doesn't happen straight away. Um, you've got to be persistent in, in, in property um, and also they, they perhaps try and get a little bit greedy trying to get too much maybe uh, squeeze too much out of tenants or, or, or not pay landlords enough if you're doing a rent to rent it's got to work for everyone and I think that's really important to understand and if you're the only one that's making a good cut out of it that's not going to be sustainable long term yeah that's that's a really good point actually I think fail forward quickly so just just make a selection and, and of whatever strategy it is that you're going to do instead of going off the course after course after course just get the information and take action on it learn from your mistakes and uh, move forward and don't be greedy i like that that's that's good stop trying to get those uh huge discounts off of rent or off of uh, purchases and, and just go for something that works uh, as they say win-win yeah, definitely, absolutely. And once you get a strategy or you've made a decision, give it a go. You know, don't just do it for a few weeks or a few months and give up. Give it a good go for, I'd say, at least a year to give it a chance. And don't flip-flop, you know, go from one thing to another thing to another thing. And I, I was guilty of that. I did so many different things <laughs> uh, without really focusing on, on any one thing. And as soon as I started just to focus on one thing, the results improve dramatically because you get good you get better at that one thing whereas I was okay at doing lots of different things I got very good at one particular strategy that actually moves me very nicely on to the next question which was 